everyone has a voice. The issue is not that they don't have a voice. It's the issue is that their voice is being silenced. Mm -hmm. uh, they're being muzzled or they're being muted. And so to say that we're the, being the voice for the voice, this nullifies the fact that um, that other person actually has a voice and the and, and nullifies the, the the power dynamic of that that the issue is it, it undermines the severity of the power dynamic which is the issue is not that they didn't have a voice so therefore their church just spoke up it's like no there was an act of silencing that took place here where someone who does have a voice is being prevented from using their voice mm -hmm. you know by people who have power over them and influence and can actually do such a thing and so what the the, the what advocacy is what mediation is even, is not about being a voice for the voiceless. It's about um, navigating spaces in a way where you can amplify the voices of those who feel as if they're being silenced. And then with that not being heard or seen. It's not a matter of being a voice for the voiceless. It's a matter of amplifying voices that have been silenced and then not only amplifying voices that have been silenced, but then providing what that those voices lacked, which is the reassurance, um, not superficial, genuine yeah. reassurance that they have been heard, that they that they have been understood, and that your response to now hearing and understanding them is going to be, you know, you're going to act accordingly.